Yeah, this is a lot of nudes. Send nudes. Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about my favorite nude lip products. A few people have asked me like what nude products I like for the lips and I know it's very hard to find a good nude lip depending on your skin tone or your undertone. So I'm just gonna walk you through what my favorites are. Very casual video, just wearing my NWA shirt. I threw on some like green eyeshadow from Mel Cosmetics. I'm gonna talk about my favorite lipsticks first. So the first one is from Bite Beauty and it's called Honeycomb and it looks like this. It's, I wouldn't really know how to describe it perfectly. It looks a little bit more pink on camera than it's showing up on here. Oh yeah, it looks very pink on camera, but I promise you this is very like true nude. It's a little bit pinker than my skin tone. Let's just put it on. So you can see that, that there. This formula is really beautiful. It's a very creamy, um, so it's not gonna wear super long, but it's going to feel great on the lips. And lately I haven't been really into like super matte lips lately. I know that like liquid lipsticks used to be a big thing and now they've kind of just like faded out. So bullet lipsticks are back in if you care about that. The next lipstick that we have is from Dose of Colors and it's in the shade Toast and it is described as a warm brown beige. So I'm gonna swatch it next to Honeycomb. So it's a it looks very similar on camera. I don't understand why showing up like that. I promise guys, it does not look like this in real life. Okay, maybe this is a better representation. Next is one of my favorite nudes from the drugstore and it's called Stormy Sahara. So that's what it looks like up close. It's in their color sensational line. So it's also not gonna be super long wearing. None of these are going to be super long wearing. They're all like a cream or like a satiny finish. I feel like these all look so similar on camera, but I promise they're not. So I'm gonna swatch this next to the other two. Okay, so let's see, I feel like these two look very similar in person, but this one looks so different. Next is a newer favorite of mine, but I've been loving it. And I've used it, I think, in a few videos. So this is the KKW Beauty Classic K. Looks like this up close. And this is also a cream formula. So your lips will be very hydrated. I feel like this one is slightly lighter. Yeah, it's definitely lighter. Yes, I feel like I just love the way this looks. I feel like Kim does such a good job with her nudes. Granted, I did buy a lot of them. Like, like I own a lot of her other nudes. So maybe some of these I will like too, but for now, Classic K takes the cake. Yeah, they're all very similar, very similar colors, but I don't know, this one is special. And the packaging is like a frosted plastic. So that's pretty cool. So the next two lipsticks are from the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie collab. And they're in the shades No Shade and More Cream Replace. No Shade is very light nude. I think it is a little too light for me, but I do love it. And More Cream Replace has a very yellow undertone, so it also can kind of look a little strange on me, but this is what they look like. This is actually showing pretty true to color too, so that's nice. So first we're gonna put on no shade. I think these are both satin formulas. Yeah, this one I think would work better on someone slightly lighter than me, but I usually put a gloss over this. So that's no shade on me. And then we're gonna try on more creamer, please. This one is like my skin color in the summer. So that's more creamer, please. Actually don't look too bad from here, but it is very like orange. 
but it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a pumpkin nude. It's an interesting way to describe it, but that's how I feel. So let's swatch underneath. So we're gonna swatch no shade. See, it looks very light in comparison to the others. And then no creamer please going to go right here. Yeah, more in line with these, but you can see it's like pretty orange in comparison. My last pick is from Charlotte Tilbury and I especially love this color because it has my name in it. So it's called Very Victoria and it's like a cool pinkish nude or it's like a pinky brown nude, but it has a cool undertone to it. I also love how there's like a little lip print embossed in here. You can see, so pretty. The texture of this is very smooth. I really like this color. Not just because it has my name, but because it's just like easy. It actually goes pretty well with like the blush that I'm wearing and the uh, eyeshadow. And we're gonna swatch that one right here. So yeah, these are my favorite nude lipsticks. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about my favorite nude lip liners. So I have two from NYX. One is Peekaboo Neutral and the other one is Natural. Now these are my two most used. Peekaboo Neutral is my first most used. It's just a beautiful color. It has tinge of pink to it. It's very cheap. I think these are like $3.50. And then natural is more of a cool nude, but it also goes really well under really everything. So I'm just going to put a swatch on my hand of each. So peekaboo neutral is right here. Natural is that one. The formula on these is also just really nice. Like you really can't beat it guys. The next one I have is from MAC and it's called Etc. and it's the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. And this is more of a brownie nude. I'll swatch it right here. That's what the color looks like basically. That's pretty true to color. MAC's Pro Longwear eyeliners last a long time. So I would definitely check this out if you have issues with feathering or you know your stuff just wearing off. And then lastly, this is the Candy K by Kylie Cosmetics lip liner. I got this in the first restock because she had the first launch and then she had to restock. So I think they've changed the color of this a bit, but I really love this lip liner. I've used it so much. It's like getting down to the nub, but this is like cool toned pinkish color. The thing with these lip liners though, is that sometimes like they'll dry out a bit and then the product will separate from the wood inside and then you can just like pull the whole thing out, which is not cute. Here, there we go. <laughs> it's just so annoying, but it's a beautiful color. So we have two more products. So one, it's not a gloss. I have a gloss to share with you, but this is the MAC lip erase lip balm in the shade dim and basically what this is is it's a concealer for your lips essentially like you can see my top lip and my bottom lip are two different colors because my top lip hat is like two-toned so matt created a product like this just for anyone really especially even if you have pigmented lips and the consistency is very concealer like and what you just do is you take it and blank out your lips. I know Nikki Tutorials used to use this product quite a bit. I haven't used this too many times, but I've tested it out and I really like the way it looks. So I do need to wear it like out underneath a nude lip next time I go out just to see how the staying power is. But I really like the way this is just fun testing it. So let's put a lipstick over that. I'm gonna use the Stormy Sahara from Maybelline. I don't think I used it enough because I can still kind of see the pigment. Okay. 
Last is a gloss. I think this is discontinued and if it is, I'm so sorry, but I know you can still get it on like eBay or Amazon or whatever. This is the L'Oreal Paris gloss in the shade Nude Ballet. It has an applicator that's like a little doe foot and this gloss is like the best consistency. I also know that back in the day it was one of Kim Kardashian's like favorite glosses. It just goes on so beautifully. It's such a beautiful color. That was all of the nude lip products that I'm loving at the moment. I really hope this was informative. I know it, I might seem all over the place, but there's just so many things to like mention and talk about when it comes to nude lip products. If you're looking for your perfect nude shade, I would suggest a few things. One, going into Sephora and swatching it on your hand just so you can see how different it is from your skin tone also like figuring out your undertone and then going from there so if you have like a warm undertone a warmer nude is going to look better on you than something that's cool toned um usually like one to two shades lighter or darker is like a good way to judge like what nudes will work on you Anyway guys, that completes this video. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You know the drill, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!